have I have a leg contact now, but I'm not actually kicking her. Now I'll give her a little kick. And then she should go faster with this, right? So we have to teach the horse that it has to go in its own rhythm. Like I don't want to sit here and, and work really hard to get the horse to go or stop. And then the told um, we have rhythm control, that we can go any sort of rhythm and the horse stays there on its own. That's the first thing you want to have. And then the next thing is line control. So if I turn her, Thing. I don't want to have to sit and hold her on the line. She, she should stay on the line. So there you can say, you went straight, really good, so I didn't have to hold her there. <laughs> so my first line is for the horse to make a mistake and fall off my line. And that's where it's really important that I just put it back on the line and say, no, no, come on. I'm going to still respond to my turn out when I'm asking. And then the last thing, the last thing, control first and then they teach leg control and that's when the horse gets tense because then I pull on the reins and the horse just goes round and sit and I can't really, I mean that's really, really good if the horse is quiet but yes. <laughs> if it's not then I have a problem. So um, frame control, so you know how she sometimes, sometimes she's a little bit crooked and goes a bit, you know, hollow in the neck, she's, not, she's really not that bad and other times she'll give me a really good feel and she'll give me a nice stretch and she'll be really quiet and oh, not quiet but really relaxed and feel good in the hand. And that just comes from having control over the legs, so having control over the, the speed and the line. And then the contact and the framework will come. And she has a very, she has a really good mouth, this horse. So contact's not going to be a problem for you. She can be a little bit sticky on, of course, sticky on this rein. And that only comes because the horses are always a little bit crooked one way, so either they like to be flexed to the left on their own or flexed to the right. And yeah. that's why they always be a little bit more sort of sticky on one rein. And she falls through this shoulder a little bit more, so that's also why when I ride on the, when I ride on the left rein, I'll feel her just pushing a little bit more on this rein. This one's really good, it's quite soft, and, and this one is soft too, but there's a little bit there. So, and that's just teaching her, like when you go out on trail rides and stuff like that too, just Teaching her to move off the rein and, and not lean on it. Mm. That's a really important mm. thing. Mm -hmm. But really, she's definitely one, she's probably one of the best tempered horses I've broken in. Yes. You know, like she's, she's That's really fantastic. a very sweet horse. I really, really enjoy riding her. She's, and she's really fun to teach things as well because she, you know, some horses, for example, when you start to teach them turn, they lose it. They're like, I can't do it. And they rear. And, you know, there are a lot of different reactions. And she sort of just went, oh, do you want, do you want this? And like, Bit yeah, of a can-do attitude. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, okay. You know, she's that kind of horse. Some horses will always, you know, because they learn from pressure and release. And some horses are just not motivated by pressure. Yeah. We have one, for example, in here. And he, I mean, he was horrible when he came into, he had no handling and he's huge, like 17 hands. And that horse does not care about pressure. So that's a horse that will try all the wrong things, rearing, bucking, shying, all of it, oh, yeah. to try and get rid of pressure. Um, where she is a lot more like you give her a little aid and she goes, do you want this? You know, she, she's much more that type of horse, yes. which is really a, a really nice thing. That's what you would look for in a horse. So you've done a, you've done a good buy there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll give her a little shot and I'll have a little panther.